Are you looking for just the right pillow to help your neck pain while you're sleeping? Have you been struggling to find a pillow that allows you to be able to sleep through the night and keeps your head in the correct position? Or are you just tired of waking up constantly with a kink in your neck? Well, I'm Dr. Amy with Physical Therapy for Everybody, and this month we're talking about neck pain. And on our Facebook Lives, we're reviewing different pillows to give you an idea of if they might or might not work for you. Now, it's hard to tell through the computer if a, if a pillow will work for you or not, but we're trying to give you some ideas um, on things to look for. So definitely watch each of the reviews and you'll learn something along the way. And once you kind of figure out what your neck is looking for, it'll give you some ideas on things to try. So today we are reviewing the Casper pillow. So I originally bought this pillow because um, because I have a long neck as well not quite as delicate as hers is um, but we are both side sleepers so neither one of us sleep on our back very much and neither one of us sleep on our stomach at all so first thing if you are a stomach sleeper at all you've heard me say this before stomach sleeping is really really bad for your neck if it's not bothering your neck now it will bother your neck later so please 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 Start breaking yourself of that habit now before you start having neck pain. However, if you are a stomach sleeper, the Casper pillow is not going to be good for you at all. And the reason why is because it's it's very poofy um, and it also has like this, let me see if I can unzip this here. So it's kind. it has a pillow within a pillow. And so the, the inner pillow is very, is very poofy um, and the outer pillow just adds a little bit more poof right there's a little bit more fluff there but if you're gonna lay on your stomach and turn your head it's also gonna put your um, neck at a very not good position because it's very poofy right that's also why it works so well for side sleepers because if you're sleeping on your side you got to fill in this hole right here right and that is what the Casper pillow does exceptionally well. And so if you are exclusively a side sleeper, and especially if you have a longer neck, I would definitely recommend trying the Casper pillow for you. However, I did try, uh, lent this pillow out to a patient and she tried it. She is a side sleeper pretty much exclusively occasionally a back sleeper but not intentionally more like I wake up on my back um, and back sleepers have the same problem as as stomach sleepers with the Casper in that it is so fluffy that it really pushes your neck up and really puts a lot of strain on the back of your neck and particularly uh, you may feel it right up on at the um, base of your skull that is an area particularly with this pillow because it is so fluffy um, that may bother you if you're sleeping on your back for prolonged periods of time. Now, this patient not only slept on her back occasionally, but she had a shorter neck um, and she felt like it still, because the Casper is so floofy, it still pushed her up too far because she just felt like she didn't have the, the weight, the head weight, I guess, um, to be able to push the Casper down. So she felt like it's, it pushed her neck too far to the side um, or too far forward when she was laying on her back and she didn't she didn't like it at all in fact she actually threw it to the side um, in the middle of the night because she really didn't like it she didn't want to try it again which was fine that's why we have these pillows here for you to be able to take home and try because 
you know, they're not cheap. And it's nice to be able to just chuck it to the side if you decide you don't like it, bring it back and, you know, we'll try out another one and see if that one works for you. That way you get a chance to try it before you buy it because it's hard to know what pillow exactly will work for you. Um, although we definitely will help to try to guide you based on your neck and what we know about how it's moving and your sleep patterns, we can give you an idea of a pillow that we think will work for you. But we'll definitely let you try it first so you can see if it works for you. And if not, we'll take your feedback, we'll readjust, give you another pillow to try, right? Because if you're not able to sleep because your neck is not in the right position or it's really painful, you're not healing. That's all there is to it. You need to be able to sleep through the night so that your body has time to heal. That's why pillows are so important. But not one pillow works for everybody. I wish I could say, hey, here's the pillow. This works for absolutely everybody. Um, and it's, you know, it's the only pillow I recommend. I, I wish that life were that easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not. And our bodies aren't. Our bodies are all different. They need something different. Our sleep patterns are different. Our mattresses are different. You may have heard that Casper makes a mattress. Um, again, that is something that I've heard some people love the Casper mattress and some people hate the Casper mattress. I'm still trying to figure out who loves it and who hates it so I can help advise you on that. Um, I haven't tried it personally, but you can kind of start to see patterns along the way that I'm working on, but it's, there's not one answer that fits everybody. And that's, that's the challenge, whether it's with pillows, whether it's with mattresses, whether it's with physical therapy. And that's what you'll find here is that there's not one solution that we're going to put on you because we have decided that this is the one way to treat this issue. We're going to figure out what you need to be able to treat your issue. What is going on with your body and what do your tissues need to get the healing that they need to stop being painful, to stop keeping you from doing activities, um, or just to stop bothering you during the day. So, if you have any pillow questions for us, feel free to give us a call, 425-658-4944. Um, and if you have tried the Casper pillow, can you please drop a comment below and say if you liked it or if you didn't like it? And then can you also tell us what kind of a neck you have? Do you have a long neck or a shorter neck or a thicker neck or a thinner neck? Um, if you can give us that information that helps people to be able to make the best decisions for themselves. All right, guys, next week we have our last pillow review, so be sure to tune in. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.